Hi everybody, today I want to show you the difference between these two bath and kitchen sealers. Even though they are from the same brand, the result is totally different. After cleaning the old sealer, our first choice was using this one. Now I want to mention that the space between the ceramic and the bathtub in two of my walls is different. This one has like 5 millimeters. Applying the product here was very easy. This other wall has a little bit less than 1 cm and applying the product here was a little bit difficult. I had to do it in patches. Now, to smooth the product, I just used one of these tools and then we let it dry for 36 hours. After that, we decided to use the shower and the next day we noticed that it shrink a little bit. Then we wait three more days, pretty much one entire week, and this happened. It ended up shrinking a lot, as you can see. This is the wall with one centimeter that we have to cover. Now, the other wall that had a very, very small space to cover, there the product was completely dry and very hard. Because obviously this didn't work, we decided to replace it by using this 100% silicone. We removed the old sealer and right away applied the new silicone. Immediately I can tell you that the application was easier because it's a little bit more smooth. And in order to smooth it out, you have to do it right away because it dries faster. And suppose that this will dry in 24 hours, we let it sit for one more day just in case and then we use the shower. Thankfully nothing happened, it didn't shrink and then we wait a couple of days, meanwhile we keep showering and nothing happened, it didn't shrink at all. In the end I can tell you that this 100% silicone is much better, it dries faster, it's a little bit cheaper and you don't have to wait that long in order to use your shower. 